forecast with meteorologist Chad Evans. Weather from where you live. Well, folks, live Doppler 18 is mainly clear tonight, though we've got a couple little sprinkles that are actually moving through. A few little sprinkles near Linden and Romney here, and also a little sprinkle, sprinkle near Chalmers up here in White County. But the bigger weather story today has been the wind. We've had gusts 40 to 45 miles per hour, but the pressure gradient between the low and the high is lessening a little bit. So I think wind gusts tonight will be around 30 miles an hour, and that'll be the same tomorrow. It's not going to be the 40 to 45 mile per hour gusts like we had today. And again, there could be a couple of sprinkles overnight or early tomorrow morning with temperatures in the mid to upper 40s. But at the bus stop, those wind chills running mid to upper 30s. And highs tomorrow will be anywhere from 58 up here near Rochester, Rochester, Talma, Winnemac, Francisville, and Morocco to 59 at Remington, 60 from Monticello and Chalmers to Logansport, even Peru, and then 61 or 2 from Kokomo and Michigan Town to Burlington, Delphi, Lafayette, Attica and down towards Romney and Crawfordsville. But changes are coming over the next few days. First of all, let's focus on tomorrow. Still pretty breezy out of the northwest. Winds gusting to 30. A lot of clouds mixed with some sunshine. 61 for the high. Overnight lows tomorrow night, upper 30s to lower 40s. 66 on Wednesday with high pressure right overhead. Still partly cloudy skies with a lot of severe weather developing here in the plains from Nebraska all the way down to Oklahoma. Tornadoes possible. A big storm moves into the plains at that time. But I really think the coldest night will be Wednesday night, looking at the latest analysis with high pressure right overhead. Widespread mid to upper 30s are likely, and I wouldn't be surprised if there is some patchy frost, especially north and east of Lafayette. We'll have more on that tomorrow night, but that appears to be the coldest night based on the new data. Thursday, though, after a cold morning, winds turn to the south. That clouds up. There could be a shower along that warm front during the afternoon with a lot of severe weather just off to our west. And yes, heavy wet snow in Wyoming and western Nebraska. What is left of the severe weather event will pass through as a band of rain and some embedded storms Friday morning. And then we get into the dry slot. So some sunshine Friday afternoon and then cooler over the weekend, dry, but highs only running in the lower 60s with pretty brisk winds. So a lot of clouds, perhaps a few sprinkles, still blustery tonight, down to 47. Tomorrow, nothing more than an early morning sprinkle, otherwise blustery, clouds, some sun, high around 61. Again, winds still gusting to 30 miles an hour, 66 Wednesday, but the coldest night is looking to be Wednesday night with high pressure right overhead. Notice that overnight low at 38, but warming up Thursday and showers and storms early Friday before we cool off.